So suggest questions will usually be three to six marks. They'll come in a number of different marking formats. Most often it will be a four mark question which will require two points where you'll give a point plus an explanation. It could be levelled or it could even be something where it's a three mark question they just want a number of different points that you can give to get each of the marks to add up to three. Um, you need to make sure specifically that you pay attention to all of the words in the question. Most often they'll uh, put either the word why or how after uh, the word suggest and you, it implies that you need to give some sort of process or give some sort of specific information that the examiner is trying to test you on. Um, this can often be a way of the examiner trying to pick up whether you've actually done specific revision um, about the whole concept, about all of the concepts you've learned within the course, rather than just trying to give you an opportunity to open, uh, answer something that's open-ended. So one of the most popular or common ways of the examiner using these uh, suggest questions is to give you a four mark question in the way that he's given on the screen at the moment and then divide it up into two sections, clearly showing you that you need to read the information that's above the question and then you need to say something about local people, something about the environment. Warner students usually would just talk all about the impact on local people rather than actually explaining how. So as this is a four mark question, we'd expect it to come in the format of, um, of make two points, which are one plus one. So an easy way to get all of the marks is to make a point about the impact on local people, and then you just need to explain how pollution in urban areas led to that specific impact. The exact mark scheme for this question is up on the screen now. All you need to do is pause it and mark your own question while, uh, while the mark scheme's up. So sometimes, sometimes suggest questions can be an opportunity to write a little bit in a little bit more detail. This is a six mark question, which means that it's probably going to be a levelled response. The examiner's looking for something very specific. The preceding bit of information, the figure, was nothing more than a graph. So they're using India as an example because we probably should have taught it in lessons, but it's okay for you to use a different example as well. They're looking for specific processes. Um, you need to make sure that you know those specific processes and that you refer to them um, using those high-level terms. The more frequent your high-level terms are that link directly to the question, the better you're going to do. Essentially, the moment you drift away from answering the specific question in this case, the worse your mark's going to be. So what I'd like you to do is write the question down, put a bubble around it. You need to define the command word, in this case, which is suggest. They're also asking for reasons. Uh, th uh, then, have, then make sure that you write down that it's worth six marks. Say how you think those six marks are going to be given out. And then around it, any high-level terms or specific bits of information that you want to use to make sure you get all of the marks available. So this question should take you about six minutes to actually write a full answer. If you pause this now, then I'll put the mark scheme up when you turn it back on. So the mark scheme should have just appeared. The information that's on there is actually very clearly laid out. The, uh, the marker can deviate from that point if they really want to. Um, what they're really looking for is for you to use the information there clearly and explain in detail. 